Sometimes I like to see regulatory affairs as a, it's like a big jigsaw puzzle where you have different regulatory requirements from US to Europe to Japan. You have different pieces of information that you're dealing with, whether it's from clinical studies, manufacturing, animal data. And our job is to really try to put all this together to make this jigsaw puzzle into a single picture. Even though there's patients anxiously waiting at the end of the road for the medications that we are trying to get approved and launched, there are milestones that we have to meet, certain requirements. The health authorities of all the countries want to make sure that the products that we're providing have met certain safety and efficacy measurements. And we try to think what would be the most efficient, most impactful way to get through the regulatory process. It's important for us to say, here are the possible paths you can go down. Here's the possible reactions that FDA will have to each of those paths. All of it needs to be based and grounded in the scientific evidence that we've got. We're involved in the whole of the development process from the very early stages prior to it going into man, right through to the product being approved and then being on the market. We see data from the raw data stage right through to the very, very succinct digestible form. Our job is to transform it into something that is usable and simplified and makes sense to people who are unfamiliar with the raw data. We look with curiosity at the evidence and we look at the messages that are coming out of that evidence and is there some important piece of the puzzle that's missing that we need to tell the team to add? Telling the story appropriately and in a balanced way helps health authorities understand what the evidence is saying. Patients are playing a bigger and bigger role, not just in the way that we think about developing our products, but also the way the health authorities are thinking about how to develop products and how to get products to patients. One of the things that I appreciate about working at a company like Genentech is that while we do respect the FDA opinion, sometimes importantly the job of the guide is to help the team understand when they need to push back on FDA. We will go back to the science and the data and push until all avenues are exhausted. And that represents the commitment that we have to patients.